Where did the mutineers of the bounty land? In 1789, members of the crew of the HMS Bounty mutinied. After having dropped off 19 other members of the crew, including Captain William Bly. The mutineers landed on the uninhabited island of Pitcairn. While the captain and his loyal crew successfully returned to England. The mutineers established a community composed of nine male mutineers. Six male Polynesians, and twelve female Polynesians who had also been on board the bounty. In 1856, approximately 200 of the mutineers' descendants voluntarily moved from Pitcairn Island to Norfolk Island because of overpopulation. Where did agriculture begin? Agriculture simultaneously began in what is known now as the Middle East, Fertile Crescent. The Yangtze River region of southern China, the Yellow River region of northern China, Sub-Saharan Africa. South Central Andes near modern day Peru, Bolivia, and Chile, Central Mexico, and the Eastern United States. Where is the Bible Belt? The Bible Belt a region noted for its high proportion of fundamentalist Christian beliefs. Is located in the southern and midwestern United States, running from about Oklahoma to the Carolinas. What was the Rwanda Genocide? The Rwanda genocide was the systematic killing of hundreds of thousands of people belonging to the Tutsi minority ethnic group by the majority Hutus. Most of the killing occurred within a span of 100 days in the summer of 1994. It was carried out by two Hutu extremist military groups. At least 500,000 people were immediately killed. And as many as 1 million people lost their lives by the end of the massacre. The genocide had its roots in the Rwanda Civil War. Which pitted the majority Hutus against the Uganda-supported Tutsi minority. How long is a day? A day is the time it takes the Earth to make one rotation, which is 23 hours, 56 minutes, and 4.2 seconds. We round this to an even 24 hours for convenience. Does Louisiana have counties? No. Louisiana is divided into 64 parishes rather than counties. These parishes are no different than counties, other than in name. The word parish comes from the parish system of the Catholic Church. 
and thus shows the French and Catholic influence on Louisiana. What are ocean currents? The oceans don't remain still, their water is constantly moving in giant circles known as currents. In the northern hemisphere, currents move clockwise. While in the southern hemisphere they move counterclockwise. Currents help to moderate temperatures on land in places like the British. Isles which are farther north than the U.S. Canadian border by sending warm. Water from the Caribbean northeast across the Atlantic Ocean to northern Europe. A current known as the Antarctic Circumpolar Current circles the southern continent. The North Atlantic and North Pacific Oceans each have a large clockwise current. While the South Atlantic and South Pacific Oceans each have a large counterclockwise current. How does the tilt of the Earth affect the seasons? Since the Earth is tilted 23.5 degrees, the sun's rays hit the northern and southern hemispheres unequally. When the sun's rays hit one hemisphere directly, the other hemisphere receives diffused rays. The hemisphere that receives the direct rays of the sun experiences summer. The hemisphere that receives the diffused rays experiences winter. Thus, when it is summer in North America, it is winter in most of South America, and vice versa. What is the Middle East in the middle of? At one time, it was common to refer to the near, middle, and far east. Though two of the terms have fallen into disuse, the Middle East is still commonly used. The Near East, at its greatest extent in the 16th century, once referred to the Ottoman Empire, which included Eastern Europe, Western Asia, and Northern Africa. The Middle East referred to the area from Iran to India to Myanmar, formerly Burma. The Far East used to refer to Southeast Asia, China, Japan, and Korea. What is the DART array? DART stands for the Deep Ocean Assessment and Reporting of Tsunami Array, which consists of 39 buoys that float in critical spots in the Pacific. Each DART system consists of an anchored seafloor bottom pressure recorder, BPR, and a companion moored surface buoy for real time communications. An acoustic link transmits data from the BPR on the seafloor to the surface buoy. The BPR collects temperature and pressure at 15 second intervals. In normal mode, it transmits the data every 15 minutes. If there is an event, the system reports back data collected in 15 second intervals every minute. Why do some cultures kill infants?
Infanticide is the practice of killing an infant. For centuries, various cultures around the globe used infanticide as a form of population control. Most commonly because their limited food supply could only feed a certain number of humans. Because of cultural biases, female infants were more often victims of infanticide. The practice of infanticide still occurs today. How does medical geography help control the spread of diseases? Medical geographers and epidemiologists, scientists who study diseases and epidemics. Use mapping to monitor the spread of diseases and locate the source of a disease. For example, by mapping a group of inordinately high numbers of cancer patients in a city. We may find that all live close to a factory that has been releasing toxins into the groundwater. By identifying the source and spread of a disease, the disease can often be combated. What is the largest country in the world? Russia is by far the largest at about 6.6 .6 million square miles, 17.1 million square kilometers. Russia is followed in size by Canada, China, the United States. Brazil, Australia, India, Argentina, Kazakhstan, and Sudan. What does a glacier leave behind? When a glacier moves across the land, it acts like a giant bulldozer. Pushing and collecting rock, dirt, and debris. A moraine is a deposit of rock and dirt carried by a glacier and left behind once the glacier melts and recedes. What are basins and ranges? Basins and ranges are sets of valleys and mountains that are spaced close together. Most of Nevada and western Utah is composed of sets of basins and ranges. What is a plaza? Most Latin American cities have an open public square at the center of the downtown called the plaza. The plaza is used for festivals and ceremonies and is surrounded by a cathedral and shopping areas. Which countries are not members of the United Nations? While almost every country in the world is a member of the United Nations, there is a short list of countries that are not members, Taiwan, Tonga, and Vatican City. How did a map help stop the spread of cholera?
during an 1854 cholera outbreak in London. A physician named John Show mapped the distribution of cholera deaths. His map showed that there was a high concentration of deaths in an area surrounding one specific water pump. Water had to be hand pumped and carried in buckets at the time. When the handle was taken off of the water pump, the number of cholera deaths plummeted. When it was determined that cholera could be spread through water, future epidemics were curbed. This was the beginning of medical geography. When did Canada have a transcontinental railway? After nearly a decade of setbacks, Canada completed its first transcontinental railroad in 1885. The Canadian Pacific Railway opened Western Canada to settlement and greatly helped the city of Vancouver to grow. Why do I need a zip code? Zip, Zone Improvement Program, codes were created by the U.S. Postal Service in 1963 to help sort and distribute mail more effectively. Each zip code represents a specific geographic area. With each digit further pinpointing the recipient's address. For instance, the first digit, 0 to 9, of each zip code represents an area of the United States. From 0 in the northeast to 9 in the west. Where is the Western Hemisphere's oldest university? Founded in 1538, the Autonomous University of Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic is the oldest university in the Western Hemisphere. Where was the most snowfall ever recorded? Washington State's M.T. Baker recorded the most snowfall in a single season, 1,140 inches, 2,896 centimeters. How many states have four-letter names? There are three states that tie for having the shortest name, Utah, Ohio, and Iowa. What is an atomic clock? An atomic clock uses measurements of energy released from atoms to precisely measure time. The current model of the atomic clock, created in 1957 by Norman Ramsey, uses measurements from cesium atoms. Atomic clocks are used by NASA. Physicists, astronomers, and other scientists who need extremely precise time.
What is the least densely populated country in the world? Mongolia, not to be confused with Inner Mongolia, which is a province in northern China. With its tiny population of 2.6 million people spread over 600,000 square miles, 1,554,000 square kilometers of territory, has a population density of about 4 people per square mile. Where is the longest fjord? The longest fjord is in Greenland, Skorisbydund. It stretches more than 217 miles, 350 kilometers. How many great lakes are there? There are five Great Lakes, Huron, Ontario, Michigan, Erie, and Superior. The acronym HOMES can help you to remember the names of the five Great Lakes. All of the lakes except Michigan lie on the U.S. Canada border. What makes Brazilian automobiles run? Over half of Brazilian automobiles use alternatives to petroleum known as gasohol and ethanol. Gasohol is made from sugarcane and ethanol is made from alcohol. The two fuels are much less expensive than petroleum-based gasoline. How fast is the Russian economy expanding? The Russian economy grows at approximately 7.9% per year. With most of the growth coming from the energy sector. Which South American countries are members of OPEC? Ecuador, 500,000 barrels slash day, and Venezuela, 2.3 million barrels slash day. Are both members of OPEC, Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries. Bolivia and Brazil may be members in the near future. Why did Peru and Ecuador fight two wars in the 20th century? When Ecuador split off from Gran Colombia in the 19th century. It signed a border agreement with Peru, defining its boundaries along the Marañón River. In 1941, Peru invaded Ecuador and occupied half the country for 10 days. Afterwards, a peace treaty was brokered and guaranteed by the United States, Brazil, Argentina, and Chile. The United States mapped the border, leaving approximately 48 miles. 78 kilometers, of a line in the Cordillera del Condor area unmarked.
the area became a site for a dispute in 1941, and again in 1995. How many countries are members of the United Nations? There are 192 member states of the United Nations, which is headquartered in New York City. New members include Serbia and Montenegro, from the former Yugoslavia, Tuvalu. An island nation in the Pacific, Timorlst, in what was once part of Indonesia, and Switzerland. What is the highest point in the United States? Alaska's MT. McKinley, also known as Denali, is the highest point in the United States at 20,320 feet, 6,194 meters. In the contiguous 48 states, the highest point is California's MT. Whitney at 14,495 feet, 4,418 meters, which is less than 100 miles, 161 kilometers. From North America's lowest point, Death Valley, 282 feet 86 meters below sea level. Which country produces the most gold? South Africa's gold mines yield 28% of the world's gold annually. In 1886, gold was first discovered in South Africa at the mines near Witwaters Rand. Which is now South Africa's largest gold producing area. In 2007, China overtook South Africa by producing 276 tons of gold. Beating South Africa for the title of biggest gold producer by just four tons of gold. This is the first time that South Africa has not been first in gold production since 1905. What is the highest waterfall in the world? The highest falls in the world are Angel Falls in southeast Venezuela. It is 3,230 feet, 984 meters, high. What is the difference between a state and a state? A state, with a capital S, is equivalent to a country. A state, with a lowercase s, is a division of a country, like the states that make up the United States. Where was the world's first monument to an insect established? On December 11, 1919, Enterprise Alabama, dedicated a monument to the boll weevil. This tall statue of a woman with raised arms holding a boll weevil declares.
in profound appreciation of the boll weevil and what it has done as the herald of prosperity. The boll weevil, a beetle that attacks bowls of cotton. Spread across the south at the beginning of the 20th century, wiping out cotton crops. Residents of Enterprise switched from cotton crops to peanut crops. Thus discovering a new era of prosperity. The monument to the boll weevil is to remind residents and visitors alike. Of the resourcefulness of the community and the ability of man to diversify. Where is the world's tallest waterfall? Angel Falls, in Venezuela, is the world's tallest waterfall at 3,212 feet, 979 meters. American pilot Jimmy Angel discovered the waterfall and named it after himself in 1935. At the time of the discovery, the falls were known to indigenous peoples such as the Pemon for thousands of years. They called the falls Kirpakupe Meru, which means waterfall of the deepest place. Where is the third world? Originally, the Third World referred to those countries that did not align themselves with the United States. First World, or the Soviet Union, Second World, during the Cold War. Over time, the term took on different meanings and has come to refer to less developed or developing nations, which are the more preferred terms. When did the 21st century begin? The 21st century began at 12 o'clock a.m. on January 1, 2001. Since the first century, which spanned the years 1 to 100, Centuries have been counted beginning with the year ending in 01 rather than 00. For instance, the 20th century consists of the years 1901 through 2000. What road in the United States was known as the National Road? The Cumberland Road, also known as the National Road, was the first federally funded road in the United States. Though construction began in 1811, the Cumberland Road was not completed until 1852, stretching 800 miles. 1,287 kilometers, from Cumberland, Maryland, to Vandalia, Illinois. The road was built to allow settlers to traverse the Appalachian Mountains and settle in the west. With the advent of the automobile, the road was paved, and in 1926 became part of U.S. Route 40, which stretches across the continent. What is a thunderstorm? Thunderstorms are localized atmospheric phenomena that produce heavy rain. 
thunder and lightning, and sometimes hail. They are formed in cumulonimbus clouds, big and bulbous, that rise many miles into the sky. Most of the southeastern United States has over 40 days of thunderstorm activity each year. And there are about 100,000 thunderstorms across the country annually. Thunderstorms are different from typical rainstorms because of their lightning. Thunder, and occasional hail. How many miles of paved road are there in the United States? The United States has more paved road than any other country in the world. With a grand total of 2,335,000 miles, 3,757,015 kilometers. What is the Arirang Festival? The Arirang Festival or Mass Games, held every April 15 and lasting for two months, is a celebration including performances by thousands of students who create gigantic mosaic pictures by holding colored mosaic cards while standing in an enormous stadium. There are also dance performances during the ceremony. For this event, the North Korean government has even allowed some American tourists to attend. What do minutes and seconds have to do with longitude and latitude? Each degree of longitude and latitude is divided into 60 minutes. Each minute is divided into 60 seconds. An absolute location is written using degrees, degree, minutes, and seconds, of both longitude and latitude. Thus, the Statue of Liberty is located at 40 degrees 41 minutes 22 seconds north, 74 degrees 2 minutes 40 seconds west. How many tectonic plates are there? There are a dozen significant plates on the planet. Some of the largest include the Eurasian Plate, North American Plate, South American Plate, African Plate, Indo-Australian Plate, Pacific Plate, and Antarctic Plate. Some smaller plates are located between the major plates. The smaller plates include the Arabian Plate, containing the Arabian Peninsula, the Nazca Plate. Located to the west of South America, the Philippine Plate, located southeast of Japan. Containing the northern Philippine Islands, the Cocos Plate, located southwest of Central America. And the Juan de Fuca Plate, just off the coast of Oregon, Washington, and Northern California. Who was the first person to reach the North Pole? Though American explorer Robert Edwin Peary is credited as the first to reach the North Pole, 
it is likely that he only came within 30 to 60 miles, 48 to 80 kilometers. Of 90 degrees north during his expedition in 1909. Who did actually reach the pole first is still being debated. Who are the Aborigines? The Aborigines are the indigenous inhabitants of Australia. Having migrated from Southeast Asia approximately 40,000 years ago. In the late 18th century, when European colonization began. There were over 300,000 Aborigines in Australia. Many were killed by European diseases and abuses, and by 1920 there were only 60,000 Aborigines remaining. Like the Maori of New Zealand, Australia's Aborigine population rebounded in the late 20th century. And now stands at over 200. 000 Most Aborigines now live in urban areas and are gaining political support and benefits. What are the two cultural groups that make up Belgium? The Walloons in southern Belgium, called Wallonia, are descendants of the Celts and speak French. The Flemings in northern Belgium, called Flanders are descendants of German Franks and speak Flemish, a language similar to Dutch. There is little unity within Belgium, for only 10% of Belgians are bilingual. When do countries in the Southern Hemisphere observe daylight saving time? Because daylight saving time is an effort to save daylight during the summer months. Daylight saving time in the southern hemisphere occurs from October through March. Are there more people or sheep in New Zealand? There are just over 4 million people in New Zealand, but nearly 56 million sheep. New Zealand has long been a leading exporter of wool. What are the highest points on each continent? The highest peak in South America, Aconcagua, lies in Argentina at 22,834 feet, 6,960 meters. In North America, Alaska's M.T. McKinley, also called Denali, as it is known indigenously, is 20,320 feet, 6,194 meters. The famous M.T. Kilimanjaro, 19,340 feet 5,895 meters, is in Africa's Tanzania. Ice covered Antarctica's high point is known as Vincent Massif, 16,864 feet, 5,140 meters. Europe's Mont Blanc is in the Alps between France and Italy at 15,771 feet, 4,807 meters.
Australia's high point, Kosciuszko, is the lowest of all the continents at 7,310 feet, 2,228 meters. What is an archipelago? An archipelago is a chain, or group, of islands that are close to one another. The Aleutian Islands of Alaska and the Hawaiian Islands are both archipelagos. They are usually formed by plates pushing into one another or by volcanic activity. How did the bikini get its name? In 1946, the United States began to test atomic weapons on the Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands. It was also in the late 1940s when the two-piece bathing suit made its debut and took its name from the intensely publicized Bikini Atoll. When was Daylight Saving Time instituted? Though Benjamin Franklin suggested the concept of Daylight Saving Time in 1784, it was not implemented in the United States until World War I. Between World Wars I and II, States and communities were allowed to choose whether or not to observe the change. During World War II, Franklin Roosevelt again implemented daylight saving time. Finally, in 1966, Congress passed the Uniform Time Act, which standardized the length of the daylight saving time period but states and territories can choose not to observe daylight saving time. Arizona, Hawaii, parts of Indiana, Puerto Rico and some island territories have chosen not to observe daylight saving time. Can people live in a torrid zone? The ancient Greeks divided the world into climatic zones that are not accurate. The three zones included frigid, temperate, and torrid. They believed that civilized people could only live in the temperate zone. Which, of course, was centered around Greece. From Europe northward was part of the inhospitable frigid zone, while most of Africa was torrid. Unfortunately, this three-zone classification system stuck and was later expanded to five zones once the southern hemisphere was explored. People identify everything north of the Arctic Circle, near northern Russia, and south of the Antarctic Circle. Near the coast of Antarctica, as frigid, everything between the tropics and the Arctic and Antarctic circles as temperate. And the zone between the Tropic of Cancer and Capricorn as torrid. What do the Sandwich Islands and Hawaiian Islands have in common?
the Sandwich Islands and Hawaiian Islands are actually the same set of islands. In 1778, when Captain James Cook discovered the islands, he named them the Sandwich Islands. Gradually, the islands began to be known by their indigenous name of Hawaii. Cook Named the islands after his supporter, John Montague, the fourth Earl of Sandwich. Where in Egypt do most Egyptians live? About 95% of Egypt's population lives within 12 miles, 19 kilometers, of the Nile River. Since the rest of Egypt mainly consists of desert, the remaining residents live scattered across the country, primarily near oases or along the coast. How did Australia get its name? Long throughout history there remained an assumed, yet completely undiscovered. Land called Terra Australis Incognita, or Unknown Southern Land. As early as the 4th century BCE Aristotle believed that an extremely large continent located in the southern hemisphere, lay undiscovered and would complete the symmetry of the land masses. For centuries, this unknown land mass remained a treasured legend and often appeared on maps in varied sizes and shapes. When the territory now known as Australia was discovered in the early 17th century. No one believed that this was the famed Terra Australis Incognita. During the early 17th century, the western coast of this territory was. Named New Holland and claimed for the Netherlands. In 1770 James Cook claimed the east coast of this territory for England and called it New South Wales. It wasn't until 1803 that Matthew Flinders circumnavigated this territory and proved that it was a continent and was the long sought after Terra Australis Incognita. Finally, in the early 19th century, Nearly two centuries after having been discovered, this land was finally named Australia. What is Nunavut? Nunavut, Canada's third territory whose capital is Iqaluit, is home to Canada's indigenous people, the Inuit. This new territory, which entered the Dominion in 1999, covers approximately one-fifth of Canada's land area, but contains less than 1% of Canada's population, with just over 29,000 people. How have the Kuril Islands kept World War II from ending? Before World War II, Japan owned this chain of four islands located between Russia. South of the Kamchatka Peninsula, and Japan, north of Hokkaido. During the war, the then Soviet Union took control of the islands and hasn't given them back. Japan has been requesting their return, 
but to no avail. Because of the Kuril Island controversy, Japan has yet to sign a peace treaty with Russia declaring the end of World War II. What time is it in Antarctica? People based on the many research stations of Antarctica generally. Observe Greenwich Mean Time that is, the same time zone as London, England. Why is it more likely to rain in a city during the week than on the weekend? Urban areas have an increased likelihood of precipitation during the work week because intense activity from factories and vehicles produce particles that allow moisture in the atmosphere to form raindrops. These same culprits also produce warm air that rises to create precipitation. A study of the city of Paris found that precipitation increased throughout the week and dropped sharply on Saturday and Sunday. Where are the Windward Islands? The Windward Islands are located in the Caribbean and are exposed to the northeast trade winds. Northeasterlies, of the Atlantic Ocean. Because of their vulnerability to these winds, the islands were named the Windward Islands. The Windward Islands include Martinique, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, and Grenada. How can I find the latitude and longitude of a particular place? To find latitude and longitude of a particular location, you will need to consult either a gazetteer or a computer database that includes longitude and latitude data. Though gazetters are readily accessible, they don't include as many places as online databases. There are a number of sites on the internet that have extensive databases of latitude and longitude and even include such specific places as public buildings. Is the permafrost thawing? Yes, it is. In places with great areas of permafrost, such as Alaska, the permafrost has warmed to the highest level in 10,000 years. During the last 50 years, the Arctic regions have been warming to record high temperatures. During this time, Alaska's average temperature has warmed an average of 3.3 degrees above normal. How many Internet users are there in the United States? There are more than 211 million Internet users in America. Making up approximately 72.5% of the population. 
15% of all internet users in the world are located in the United States. Can you stand an egg on end only on the spring equinox? It is a common legend that an egg can be balanced on its end only on the spring equinox, March 21st. Actually, there's nothing magical about gravity on the spring equinox that would allow an egg to stand on end it can happen at any time of the year with patience and perseverance. What was Zimbabwe's previous name? In April 1980, the British colony of Rhodesia was granted independence and renamed itself Zimbabwe. Rhodesia had been named for South African businessman Cecil Rhodes. How can GPS keep me from getting lost? A GPS unit provides precise latitude and longitude for the location of the device. By using a handheld GPS unit along with a map that provides latitude and longitude, such as a topographic map, you can determine your precise location on the Earth's surface. This is a valuable tool for those who hike or travel in remote regions and for ships at sea. GPS is now widely available in cars, as standalone, portable, pocket sized devices. On cell phones, and even on the boxes that ship products that you buy. In short, GPS is used in all aspects of our lives. What are steps? Common throughout Russia, Asia, and Central Europe, a step is a dry. Short grass plain that can be flat or hilly. While most steps were once forested areas. Cultivation and overgrazing by animals have left only short grasses and barren landscapes. In 1992, the two republics of Czechoslovakia agreed to divide. Into two independent countries the Czech Republic and Slovakia. The dissolution of Czechoslovakia was a peaceful one. How many republics or states comprised the former Soviet Union? The U. SSR was comprised of the following 15 socialist republics, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Belarus, Estonia, Georgia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Latvia, Lithuania, Moldova, Russia, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Ukraine, and Uzbekistan. Which country has the highest GDP? GDP is the gross domestic product, 
which is the total value of all goods and services produced by a country. Technically, the European community, representing an economic union of the nations of Europe, has the highest GDP at $16 trillion, followed by the United States with $13 trillion and Japan with $4 trillion. Where do the Great Lakes rank in terms of size? Lake Superior is 31,700 square miles, 82,103 square kilometers, and is the world's largest freshwater lake. Lake Huron is 23,000 square miles, 59,570 square kilometers, and the third largest freshwater lake. Lake Michigan is 22,300 square miles, 57,757 square kilometers, and the fourth largest freshwater lake. Lake Erie is 9,900 square miles, 25,641 square kilometers, the world's tenth largest freshwater lake. And Lake Ontario, 7,300 square miles, 18,907 square kilometers, is the 12th largest freshwater lake. Has global warming affected the ice on MT? Kilimanjaro? Global warming has indeed affected the glacial ice on top of MT. Kilimanjaro in Tanzania and has caused as much as 80% of the ice to permanently disappear. Scientists believe that by the year 2020 there will be no more snow on top of the mountain. How was MT? How old is the Earth? The Earth is approximately 4.6 billion years old. What have been some of the most destructive floods in history? In the United States, the failure of a dam in 1889 upstream from the community of Johnstown. Pennsylvania, killed 2,200 people. Some of the world's most catastrophic flooding takes place in China. A flood on the Huangji River in 1931 killed 3.7 million people. Mongolia's density is limited because only 1% of the Y is the Aral Sea shrinking? The area of the Aral Sea, located on the border of Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan, has been reduced in size by one half since 1960, though it was once the world's fourth largest lake. Diversion of its feeder rivers for agricultural purposes has severely shrunk in the lake. This shrinkage has exposed soil saturated with salt, which now destroys plants and vegetation across the nearby plains. Country can be used for agriculture, the remainder of the country is dry and used for nomadic herding. 
Mongolia was originally established in the 13th century. When Genghis Khan overtook and unified much of mainland Asia. What is Polynesia? Polynesia consists of islands in the region bounded by Hawaii in the north and New Zealand in the southwest. The region includes the countries of Samoa, Tonga, and Tuvalu. Also located in this area is the colony of French Polynesia, which includes Tahiti and 117 other islands and atolls. What is the world's busiest seaport? Shanghai, China, is the busiest seaport, moving more than 443 million tons of cargo annually. It is followed by Singapore, with 423 million tons. And Rotterdam, the Netherlands, which handles 376 million tons. Which states are split into multiple time zones? Florida, Indiana, Kentucky, and Tennessee are split into Eastern and Central Time. Kansas, Nebraska, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Texas are split between Central and Mountain Time. Idaho and Oregon are split between Mountain and Pacific Time. What is the purpose of NATO now that the Soviet Union is gone? The North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, was founded in 1949 as an alliance of European and North. American non-communist countries committed to preventing and protecting against communist threats. With relative stability in the former Soviet Union, now the Commonwealth of Independent States. NATO sees its role purely as defensive in nature. Supporting member states and countries in need of assistance in the surrounding regions. Why is every map distorted? No map is completely accurate because it is impossible to accurately represent the curved surface of the earth on a flat piece of paper. A map of a small area usually has less distortion because there is only a slight curve of the earth to contend with. A map of a large area, such as maps of continents or the world, are significantly distorted because the curvature of the earth over such a large area is extreme. How does a GPS unit know where I am? Individual Global Positioning System GPS, units on the Earth receive information from AU. 
Earth's military-run system of 24 satellites that circle the Earth and provide precise time and location data. The individual GPS unit receives data from three or more satellites that triangulate its absolute location on the Earth's surface. If you are carrying such a device, your absolute location is the same as that of the device. How big was the largest hailstone? In 2003, a hailstone was recovered near Aurora, Nebraska. With a diameter of 18.75 inches, 47.63 centimeters. The previous record was in 1970, when people recovered a hailstone with a 17.5 inches, 44.45 centimeters, diameter in Kansas. What did Marco Polo note in his journals about the Chinese fleet, when he arrived in the 13th century? Marco Polo noted that Chinese ships had crews of more than 300, cabins for 60 people, and four sailing masts. What are the Baltic states? The three Baltic states of Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania are so named because they lie on the Baltic Sea. These three countries became independent after the Soviet Union broke apart in 1991. Poland and Finland which also lie on the sea, are sometimes also included as Baltic states. Where are Sierra Madre Occidental and Sierra Madre Oriental? Sierra Madre Occidental and Sierra Madre Oriental are two mountain ranges in Mexico. The ranges' names stem from the meanings of Occidental, Western, and Oriental, Eastern. Thus the Sierra Madre Occidental lies along Mexico's west coast and the Sierra Madre Oriental lies along the east coast. What is Europe's oldest independent state? San Marino claims to have been founded in the year 301 C. Its first constitution was established in 1600. San Marino is located on MT. Titano in Italy and at 24 square miles, 62 square kilometers. In area, is one of the world's smallest independent countries. In which direction does the west wind blow? It blows from the west to the east. Wind is named after the direction from whence it comes. How do most people travel across Russia?
Most people, as well as goods, travel across Russia by airplanes or train. In 1891, Tsar Alexander III launched the building of a railroad that would unify eastern and western Russia. Traveling from Moscow, through Siberia, to Vladivostok on the Pacific coast. The Trans-Siberian Railroad was opened in 1904. The Trans-Siberian Railroad is the longest railroad line in the world. What is ANZUS? In 1951, Australia, New Zealand, and the United States signed the Australia-New Zealand-United States. ANZUS, Treaty to Protect Each Other Militarily In 1986, New Zealand banned nuclear weapons from its country and thereafter refused to allow U.S. nuclear-powered or nuclear-armed ships to dock in its harbors. New Zealand was summarily excluded from the treaty. What did the average European know about the world in the Middle Ages? In Europe in the Middle Ages, most individuals' knowledge of the world was quite limited. Geographic knowledge developed by the Greeks and Romans. Who knew the Earth was a sphere, was all but lost in Europe. Europeans of the time thought of the world as flat and composed of only Europe, Asia, and Africa. What was Hurricane Katrina? Hurricane Katrina was the name given to the hurricane that developed in the Gulf of Mexico and struck New Orleans and many other cities along the southern coast of the United States in late August 2005. Winds from Katrina were initially only a Category 2 hurricane, with a tidal surge ranked as a Category 3. How did a map stop cholera? In the 1850s an outbreak of cholera threatened London. Dr. John Snow, a British physician, mapped the deaths associated with the disease and determined that many deaths were occurring near one water pump. The pump handle was removed and the spread of the disease stopped. Prior to this time, the method by which cholera spread was unknown. Today, medical geographers and epidemiologists frequently use cartography to determine the cause and spread of disease or epidemics. The status of the community's utilities, roads, and properties. In an emergency, GIs can give emergency teams the information. They need to evacuate endangered areas and respond to the crisis. Why would countries want colonies? Colonies are a source of raw materials, new land, wider trading opportunities. 
and militaristic expansion for the mother country. Colonies were established around the world from the 16th century through 19th century by powerful Western nations. After World War II, the concept of colonization was widely attacked as an exploitive policy. Though most colonies were granted independence, many countries still control colonies around the world. What is the Commonwealth of Independent States? The Commonwealth of Independent States, CIS. Established by Russia just after the fall of the Soviet Union, is an organization that serves to keep the resources of the Soviet Union flowing between the now independent countries. Ten of the fifteen former Soviet republics are members, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Belarus. Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Moldova, Russia, Tajikistan, Ukraine, and Uzbekistan. The Republic of Georgia withdrew in 2006, and Turkmenistan withdrew in 2005. Where is the center of the contiguous United States? The geographic center of the lower 48 states is located at 39 degrees 50 minutes north, 98 degrees 35 minutes west. Approximately 4 miles, 6.5 kilometers, northwest of Lebanon, Kansas. What is a wadi? Wadi is the Arabic word for a gully or other stream bed that is dry for most of the year. A wadi is a channel for streams that develop during the short rainy season. The channels of wadis were probably initially carved when the desert regions of today had more rainfall. <laughs> 